Al Franken re recently said that he would be resigning and stepping down from his uh, Senate uh, position. So we're gonna have a race for Senator of Minnesota. Guess who's gonna step in? Well, it turns out Michelle Bachman uh, has been talking to God again recently. Let's watch. Now in Minnesota, Al Franken, as you know, yeah, has yeah. resigned. I'm from Minnesota. I've had people contact me and urge me to run for that Senate seat. So yeah. the question is, it's, am I being called to do this right. now? I don't know. Yeah, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. Could be. She could be. Maybe God called, but she missed the call. They've been playing phone tag the whole time. If you don't remember, in 2012, Michelle Bachman claimed that God had decided that she should run for president. She said that over and over again in the primaries. Then apparently God decided that he was just punking her because she got clowned in those primaries and didn't come close to winning. Then she decided that God told her to get the hell out of the race. Now God's back on the line. So the reason you don't know, Michelle, is because God is not actually talking to you. Look, I, I know that for the religious folks, you guys get mad at uh, us folks who, who are not believers, and you think that you are having conversations with God. But look, if you gotta guess, it's, it's probably not a real conversation. It's probably just in your head. Like if God actually calls you, all right, then and you got him on voicemail, I hear you, okay? If God wanted to communicate to you, why would he make it so vague? Why doesn't he send you an email? Why doesn't he DM you on Twitter? <laughs> I mean, but I gotta say these things, and I know, like, for people who don't believe in religions, you find it like absurd. It's hilarious, haha. But for religious folks, they really think a lot of them think it's not just Michelle Bachman that God is in constant communication with them. And she's like, God, do you want me to run? Don't you want me to run? Last time you clowned me. I don't know. I told everybody you were on my side. It turns out you were on Mitt Romney's side, which made no sense. Or actually, Mitt Romney lost to Obama. Oh my God, did God want Obama to win twice? But look, you know, for the regular religious person, we're ha I'm trying to talk to <laughs> some sense to them. We could agree, we could disagree. But these folks who are the so-called leaders, Michelle Bachman, and she's talking to Jim Baker here on his show, are cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Listen to the next thing Jim Baker says. Could you handle it? Again? Oh, I could handle the job. I, I, know, I know how to do the job. I know how to but do the pain the job. of the yes. job. Well, that's the thing. That's that's what I've got. It's to a figure dirty out. fight. It's a it's it is people. It isn't even a, this country. Everything about what is going on, the fight for everything, the political and the press. It's dirty. It's like nothing it's we've mean. ever seen nothing. before. It's a fight to death. And right now, they want to kill the president of the United States. And if they could put a contract, which they probably already have, they would do so. Wait, what do you say to that? But they rile people up. A lot of people watch that show and they go, oh, yeah, God definitely wants Michelle Bachman. And God, this, that, the other thing. And oh, no, yeah, of course, they're trying to assassinate the president right now. Oh, yeah, well, that's definitely happening. I heard it on Jim Baker's show. It's true. It's not true. Nobody trying to kill the president right now. There actually was one assassination attempt on Trump, but nobody ever talks about it. Why? It was a young white guy from Britain, so they couldn't demagogue on it, so they just dropped it uh, in terms of propaganda. Um, that guy should actually be uh, punished to the fullest extent of the law, and I hope he is, but nobody's paying attention. Look, you know what? I, I believe in Minnesota, and I believe that you are not going to pick a lunatic like Michelle Bachman. So I want her to run. I know, be careful what you wish for. But if she's a Republican candidate and she's going out there all over Minnesota going, you know, God faxed me the other day, he's a little behind the times and he, he wants me to be the next senator, blah, blah, blah. Good luck to you, sister. Uh, you know, try that all you want. I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, I think you sound absolutely ridiculous. And uh, I do have to confess to being entertained by you though. So come on back, see how it looks. The water's warm, come on, Michelle, it'll be a lot of fun. If you like this video, bless your heart. We got a lot more where that came from. We do a full show every day, Monday through Friday. Come enjoy it ad-free by becoming a member, tytnetwork.com slash join.